Hi, Dr. Steve Weiner, and I want to give you my opinion about whether you need to place spacer filler after you cut tethered scars with subcision. So this is the myth. When you cut the tethered scars and you put the filler in, the myth is, is that it creates a plane of the filler and it prevents the tethered scars from attaching. But in reality, this is what occurs. You get little spheres of pockets of filler and it doesn't do anything to prevent the scars from reattaching. And I can prove this with ultrasound. I did that exact procedure on this patient. And you can see the fillers are little spheres and they're not a plane of filler. So it doesn't really help to put in filler after you do subcision. If you don't need volume, I don't think so. So this is a representation of acne scarring that is tethered. You look underneath the dermis and there's all these tethered scars that are represented by the toothpicks. And then I come in with my cannula and I do subcision using the cannula, which is much more precise than other methods and causes less trauma and less downtime than the other procedures. And you can see the tethered scars are now gone. Now I'm placing filler using the cannula in that tissue between the dermis and the subcutaneous tissue. And this is what actually does not happen. People think that it is a sheet of filler underneath the dermis. When in actuality, after I place the filler, you see little spheres of filler throughout the hypodermis.